Snorpy saves the world! <clears throat> I can feed these baby melons to the donation thing, yeah. Yeah, I got four. And they're the baby! Just saying, uh, maybe. Uh, your whole premise is flawed from the get-go. If bug snacks aren't like plants, then no amount of elbow grease is gonna make this work. Triffy, I thought you were here to support me. Oh, uh, I am. It, it's just, um, you keep trying this over and over, and one of these days you gotta pack it in. <sighs> so I'm on my own. Well, if that's how you choose to look at it, we Melwin. We Melwin. We Melwin. We Melwin. Hey, Wambus. Howdy. Did somebody want it? No, I know. I wanted to see if somebody wanted it first. Yeah. Waffle. The Tropica. I'll hold on to the waffle for now. That one was a little more challenging. Bunger's getting out of the barn. <laughs> Gross. Come on, Wambus. Oh, Bunker getting out of the barn. a nice day, isn't it? Any luck so far? What does it look like? <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just about at the end of my rope. I'm done taking it slow. Just get me every sort of bug snack that digs underground. I reckon it might aerate the soil or something. You don't seem certain. Oh, I must look mighty foolish sticking to my guns like this. But you don't give up just because things get tough. If nobody else believes in me, I gotta believe in myself. It's that or... or nothing. Plant a snackiri and an enchirito and a shirby. I know where a snackery is. I don't know where a sherby is. That was a sherby's? The ones? Oh, it was a raspberry. Well, you, there's more to the beat open up now, though, right? Yeah, there's more areas, yeah. So, maybe they're in those areas. I'll get a snackery. I know where a snackery is and where to get it, and then we'll do some exploring. Crap on that door open. Maybe, yeah. Sweetie fly! Sweetie fly! Okay. 
Got it. What were purple? Yeah, I see it. Maybe. That would be floofy. Floofty. Floofty was purple. She was the snobby professor lady. Oh goodness. Maybe. Let's find out. I don't know. Those are those are strabbies. A little bit. Let's so do a green crapple. A golden queeble. Red band hopper. Peltas Grande. Purple lady. It looks like a LaCroix. <laughs> Pirate treasure it seems as though it's already been looted. You took your precious time getting here. Any longer and my leg might have rotted away. Come, let's finish our work. Uh, will you come back to Snacksburg? Absolutely not. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Now assist me or be gone with you. How can I assist you? Ah, always a question worth asking. Preparations for my grand experiment are nearly complete. Soon we will see if we can amend my ambulation. But for now... Simply transform my arm into a red banapa. <laughs> the, the most gonna, difficult one. I'm guessing it's just going to be the same as the corn. Yeah. It's just the right Because it, uh, it should cover two different directions.
Go higher. It is a banana. Red banoffer. It's a red banana. At night, but not when it's raining. Uh, what did you want again? Watch for now. Simply transform my arm. Okay, your arm. Feed. Red banoffer. <clears throat> into your arm. Intriguing. <clears throat> Excellent. That is one more thing I must do. Hand me the snacktivator. The old snacktivator was worthless scrap. I have updated it. It is now capable of altering snack matter through a process of sonic anamnesis. <sighs> My body remembers what I eat. The snacktivator can change snackified limbs into anything I've ever eaten. Use it. Change my arm from Bonapa to Strabby. Are you amazed? You've seen nothing yet. If my hypothesis is correct, the bug snacks can remember the shape of my body. It is time to test that hypothesis. Use the snacktivator on my missing leg. Red Bonopper. Oh, she wants it into a strabby. Oh, into a strabby. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Aha! My leg is back. Bug snacks can cure the sick, revitalize the frail. This discovery will reshape the world. To think Elizabeth and Agabel walked away from that. Hm. Pathetic. <clears throat> But I refuse to dwell on personal matters while there is yet more work to do. Use the snack activator again. Transform my limbs into cocomites. <laughs> Turn her limbs into cocomites. I don't know what a cocomite is. Yep. I was just testing. Oh, 
Pokemon. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, neat. Oh, it, it does also have to have already been changed into Pokemon. something. So we could go like that, and then we can go... Cocomite. Cocomite. Hmm. My body has changed into more Cocomites than I've eaten. Can you even comprehend what has happened? This means that all bug snacks are one and the same. Each one could change into any other with the right stimulus. And now, that is true of me. Now, use the snack activator to its full potential. I want limbs of Noodler, Cocomite, Bonobber, and Strabby all at once. Strabby. Uh, uh, she's eaten a Strabby and a Bonopper. So we just need a Noodler. Okay. Yeah. Flame and cheap poof. Nice. Noodler bathes in pools of lava. It can't be put out while in such a hot climate. Loves mustard and hot sauce. Yeah, I think I lure it outside and into the water. Okay. Well, he wasn't there until just now. Yeah. Oh, this is the other cave. Look at these two dudes over here fighting with each other. Who are they?
Militos. Jesus. All right, so we'll feed her a noodler. Noodler. Uh, what? Neat. Oh, neat. Strabby. Where? Oh, go ahead. Oh, what was it? Banopper. I have learned much. Despite your general ignorance, you have been of use to me. Good job. No matter how many bug snacks I become, my body feels no different. Is there a threshold of grumpusness? When every cell of my body is bug snacks, will I remain floofy fizzle bean? Or will I simply be bug snacks right down to the taste? I must find out. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The answers won't come to me without further testing. However, I have exhausted my research here. I will experiment on Snacksburg. Oh, great. You mean in Snacksburg? <laughs> I look forward to working with you further. Okay, good. She's back. Who's over here? Sherby. It drills beneath the sand, waiting to unleash its frosty vengeance on foes. I think I have to get it to the lava. Chocolate. It fears the the other icicle thing, but it likes chocolate. I'm almost full on my inventory, too. We're gonna have to go back and do some donating. Can I capture you? I have one slot available. Oh god, he's spitting at me. Gives me faster run speed. <laughs> that wasn't planned, but whatever works. Yeah, basically. I guess he got tuckered out. What is this? Hey, what's up, Adam? Sorry, how long has it been since you showed up? This is Bug Snacks. Available on PlayStation 5 or PC. That's awesome. I'll have to play next weekend. Or this upcoming weekend. Whatever. Having trouble with your pets there? 
Shut it, Wambus. My little ones are just excited to see me. That's so. Bet it's easy to keep them in line when they're half your size. What are you saying? You really love bug snacks so bad? Go big or go home. You... Oh, go on back to your cactus, you old coot! Put a snackery in there. And put a sherby in there. Put some pale toes in here. And golden queeble. And one one more pale toast. Yeah, let's uh That's true. The size of your heart has grown as soon as your inventory. Ooh, look how big my backpack is now. Well met. Can we have an interview? I am not here to spew gossip for that obnoxious rag you call a newspaper. I'm only after the truth. Actually, I want to hear from the smartest grump in town. Ready well. If you insist, I will educate you. Who are you? I am Flufty Fizzlebean, the world's first gastroentomologist. Gastroentomologist? In baby language, I study bug snacks and their effect on grumpuses. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? To study bug snacks, obviously. But you don't know what bug snacks were until you got here. <sighs> when Elizabeth Megafig was recruiting for her cult of personality, I observed something strange about her arm. She was keeping it hidden, but she displayed early stages of snackification. That piqued my interest. Interesting. What are your thoughts on bug snacks? You are asking for opinions instead of facts. I'm not going to discuss my feelings with you, you emotional parasite. Jesus. Every time I try to publish my groundbreaking research, you journalists instead churn out slander about my dangerous methods or my questionable behavior. Stop editorializing and focus on the science. Why'd you leave town? I simply wanted to continue my work, Egabel or no, but Shelda blamed me for the disappearances. I'm no stranger to witch hunts. I vacated before the pitchforks could come out. Is that true that you eat grumpuses? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I've only eaten one grumpus. <laughs> Why is there a severed leg in your hut? Would you prefer I keep my severed leg in the outhouse? Any info on Lisbert? The truth. <laughs> Elizabeth was an arrogant coward, unlike Egabel. What about Egabel? Egabel truly understood my research. She was hungry to participate in it. Our work together was fruitful, even pleasant, until somebody interfered. Who interfered? Shelda. That mummified fraud stoked Elizabeth's fear of my work, weaponizing her relationship to Egabel. Scrambling her fragile emotions and fabricating a binary choice between myself and Elizabeth. So what happened? Ultimately, Agabel chose sentiment over science. And I surmise that was the death of her. Any final thoughts? Yes. I have the password to Agabel's personal storage box. It may be of interest to you. That's a key, You've actually. wasted enough of my time now. Leave. Check your journal for details. Hmm. Lufty dismissively gave me this key. Seems to go with a mysterious box.
Yeah. Bombus gets lonely sometimes. He brought the cactus out here to keep his wife company. Grumpy baby, seems like Philbo collects these beanbag dolls. Cute! Suckers used to hoard these things because they thought they'd be worth money someday. Oh my god, they're beanie babies. It's beanie babies. Unfinished hut. Looks like construction was interrupted. Who was the hut intended for? Chillax, bro. I'll finish it one of these days. This is the thing I watched. I saw Lisbert looking down. This is Sugar Pine Woods. Uh, can I get to Sugar Pine Woods? Okay, okay, okay. And then the other one is for Boiling Bay. At the end of Boiling Bay, past the shipwreck, Liz was definitely seen over there. Yeah. Let's go, let's go there. An Enchirito? Yeah, a chimichanga. Probably, yeah. That makes sense. In a strange, weird sort of way, it makes sense. Oh, uh, cow! It's a burrito that, that buries underground. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, I mean, no. No, I don't think so. I don't recall. Pokédex. Oh, that's my snack pack. Here we go. Uh, not there. What's that? It's an inch wrap. It's gonna look like that one, okay. yeah. I'm trying to see if I've taken a picture of it and just never dug it up. Doesn't look like it. Okay. But it was more of this area that had The other half of the code, then right, then center, and after that, push down hard on all three. Yeah. All right, now let's go to the other place. Hey, Sherby.
Luke's in his house. Okay. I was like, who's in there? <laughs> okay, where does this map show? Yeah, I'm gonna pull it up to be sure. Uh, this? Nope. This. This. To the right in front of the tree, uh, in front of the rock. Okay. Over here. Snack Squatch! Oh my god, it's a... It's a... I got a pic picture of the Snack Squatch. Well, it was underground when I did it. I don't know if that counts. Another video diary. Try that again. Yeah. I mean, you have your team, but it came up and said what it was. It's It's not going to go away. <laughs> I'm assuming at some point the game will be out like, you need to go look for it. Yeah, exactly. Now we know what Oh, we got the, the video. Film. I was like, what did we just do? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Man, there are so many quests. Hey! What's going on? I hate to say it, but Wambus has a point. Bigger snacks means more to love. And they might be a bit... smarter. Might respond better to my training, too. Please get me the biggest, snackiest bug snacks you can find. Please? <laughs> Donate a praying picantus to Gramble. And donate a Scoopy Banoopy. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> somewhere. 
a praying picantus, and a scoopy banoopy. Oh. You doing okay? One last chance, darling. There's a massive bug snack out in the ocean. I've seen it riding the waves in the morning light. To be honest, I'm not even sure if it's real. But I must go after it. Please help me. I can't catch it alone. Let's do it. Fabulous. Let's jam. <laughs> Instead of being called Nessie, it's just called Messy. <laughs> and it's just a big pile of food. My critic's all right, you know. I can't make the magic happen again. I've tried skydiving, crystal gorging, reverse exorcisms, everything. Bugs reverse the exorcisms! Have ever gotten me close to that it's state called possession. Again. To that raw nirvana where the universe writes through me. I just haven't found it yet. <sighs> Another empty venue. But if you're out there, you won't be able to resist my siren song. Mega Maki. Will you show yourself if you hear how much I need you? Will you show yourself if you hear my cry? Oh, I need ya! Oh, I got to have ya! Oh, in my mouth! I don't think the Bug Snacks can understand you. Oh, don't give me that. Music is a universal language, darling. Come to me, come to me, my muse of the sea. My mouth is your destination, and we go. Here's your destiny. A sound of destiny, yeah, yeah, get in my belly. There you are, you Whoa. delectable dragon. Come on, let's make some music. Sushi. Yeah, big old sushi. caught until it runs out of followers so I knocked off some of its followers okay Why are you flying? Oh. Mega 
I see, I see. He also goes low over there. There's nothing to stick it to. Plus, I can hook it to trees, I guess. And I had just the right amount of inventory space, yep. Okay, there's some kind of snack pot here that I haven't gotten. Okay. Feed one Megamaki. Hold on, everybody. Can't be coming back. That's okay. I caught the Mega Maki and I had the right amount of inventory space. My, my bag is perfectly full. <laughs> Talk about bombing on stage. Still, not my most explosive performance. Come, darling. Let's get this show on the road. Where should I put her Mega Maki? Mega. Where nose? Aha! Uh -huh. uh, nothing. My head is just full of snacks. Oh, I'm never gonna be free of it. Free what? Do the wiggle. It's such a vapid waste of a song. To think that will be my legacy. Oh, why can't I make it happen one more time? Why can't the universe give me one more hit? Yeah, I'm just running away from it. Nah. 
I gotta go donate a bunch of this. Yeah. It's like one Maki. Yeah, one mini mini Maki. Oh look there he is! There he is right in the middle! He's all big. He's all big and chonky. No! Snacks bird. It's the snackiest. Yum. Did you do it? Did you write your magnum opus? <sighs> Sorry, dear. It's never going to happen. Well, don't be so down, Wiggle. Maybe you're overthinking it. Why don't you just Right from the heart. From the heart? Oh, Gramble, you sweet summer child. That's what I did before I was a star. I'll never make platinum that way. Why's that matter? You're already rich and famous. Because I need an audience. And I've seen time and time again that when I write for myself, nobody else wants to hear it. Well, I want to hear it. That's a nice sentiment, darling. Oh, they're not going towards bag size anymore. Can I even release them? Yeah. Oh. I'll just donate them. It's faster to do this. Okay. I got rid of like half my inventory. I'll also get rid of the... I'll get two, rid of two pale toss. It said last time that it was maxed out? Okay. See, I have the biggest bag. Well... Let's see what we got now. We watched that. Floofy and Snorpy and Triffany all have quests for me. What are you up to? Ah! You're here. I have need of your assistance again. Since my last discovery, I've been testing the limits of bug snack regeneration. Unfortunately, I've done all I can with this one leg. I want to try something rather more advanced. Put simply, I'm going to remove my head. Okay. Pardon me, I forgot your limitations. Remove as in cut off, head as in the thinky part. And I am reasonably certain that bug snacks will regrow it in its entirety. Uh, yeah, that's unsafe. Indeed. Perhaps I could do something more measured if I had a full team funding and a great deal more subjects. But as usual, nobody's volunteering. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, ready well. You're welcome to try. Find volunteers. Eight. I'm going to ask the grumps. They're all going to say no.
Oh, okay. Well, sure. Not here, though. Garden Grove's maxed out. Yeah, yeah. around the cave. Oh, it was in the cave. Okay. Pickle. Caramel pop tick. Else is here that I haven't caught. I have not caught the middle of the sandwich, and I've not caught the orange slices. I should be able to get the orange slices real easy. Yeah, uh, yeah. one left is the middle of the sandwich. These are actually separate bug snacks that work together in a sando bead. I wonder I wonder if capturing them is with this. Like if I do this if it'll interrupt the whole chain kind of like it did with the uh, other thing exactly how it works perfect now this zone is, is 100% complete We're gonna slowly go through every zone and get every day. Yay! Yay! Plus, then I'll know how to catch all the bugs. And I'll fill out the load screen. <laughs> okay, we got this zone. We can call on the raining stuff though. Stuff. I remember stuff. <laughs> nice thing is, is that when I need it to rain, I can just sit there and rest over and over and over again. Okay. 
And I bet you the game is probably scheduled so that every other day it rains. Well, has it rained in a while? Uh... Okay, so maybe not. <laughs> Lovely sweetie fly. Have I gotten that yet? Shimmering Springs. No, I have not. I've also not gotten the Rasby or a Krabby. Okay. So this one's pretty obvious. I'll go like this. Like that. These are tricky. Oh, that dick. <laughs> you see him juke my trap? Not a good placement. What if we put it like whoops? We'll put it like here. I gotta get it up. anything tall enough. Let me jump over there. Didn't have the reach. Can I just do that and wait for it to rest? My work? I mean, yeah? <laughs> Have to be real quick. Okay. Tweety fly. Okay, Rasby. That looks like a looks like a taco. <laughs> oh yeah, it does look like a taco. Yeah, it looks like a taco with legs. Alright, Rasby was over here. Yeah, there he is. These guys are easy to get. Just wait for him to come back out. Okay. 
Now I need a Krabby. Krabby's like chocolate. Come on, Krabby. Okay. I've got everything here except the taco? Weird question, he's not in there for some reason, is he? You know, I don't think I've ever been here at night. Yeah. Fishy bits. There's no bedroll. I thought there was. Oh, that's true. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah. He's getting beat up by the mosquito. Baja Talk Roach. Wait, what does he like? Hot sauce. Roach. Yeah, we finished the beach. Boiling Bay. We've got three animals we haven't gotten and a bag of snacks. Nah. Okay, I think that's a good place to stop for tonight. Thank you guys for coming and hanging out. I very much appreciate it, and we will see you guys tomorrow.